Welcome to you all on this Palm Sunday and to our first virtual assembly for the Chorister School. Today marks the beginning of Holy Week, that journey towards the cross for Jesus and into the depths of despair for his disciples and friends, and then his glorious resurrection from the dead on Easter Day. The week begins with Jesus' triumphal entrance into Jerusalem. The crowds gather to wave and cheer. They carpet the ground with palm branches and cheer him on his way. There's no hint at this moment of the trials to come. Before we hear this in the Gospel account of St Matthew, let us sing a hymn together. Ride on, ride on in majesty. Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfil what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Many important people would choose to travel in style, whether that would be in a fancy car with a chauffeur or in a horse and carriage like the Queen. In Jesus's day, he could have been carried perhaps on a horse or a camel or carried aloft in a sedan chair. But this is not what happened on this day. Jesus had been teaching with his disciples for about three years 
and he knew that very soon he would die. Jesus knew that this was God's plan for him and that it would happen in Jerusalem. Many years before Jesus was born, the Old Testament prophets had talked about the coming of Jesus. One prophet called Zechariah wrote about a king arriving on a donkey, not even a grown-up donkey, but a colt, a young donkey. Zechariah said that this king would be a humble man who would not be self-important. And so it was that Jesus arrived in Jerusalem, not in first-class comfort, but on the humblest of creatures. And yet still the crowd waved and cheered. They loved his message of love, and they stretched out their arms to him in welcome. At this time of anxiety about the coronavirus, we find ourselves in a very different world, a world where we cannot physically hold out our hands in friendship, and we must stay at home to protect each other and save lives. But this does not mean that we cannot hold out our hands in other ways. In these days of isolation, there is so much for us to do to support each other. We have all found new ways to meet virtually using FaceTime or Zoom, and the hand of friendship is certainly held out to our neighbours. Here within the college, close to our school and the cathedral, our community has been keeping in contact with each other, collecting shopping and sharing our love. Everyone is turning their hands to new things. I'm looking forward to writing some new music and learning new pieces on the organ and piano. I've heard that many of you are doing the same. I've heard of children cooking, baking bread and cakes, of doing lots of art and craft. And by the way, thank you for the rainbows of hope that we've seen on Twitter and for the pictures of you doing your daily workouts with Joe Wicks. No, that's not my son. There are also many within our community who are volunteering to help the most vulnerable in, this, in our society by delivering food and medicine and by caring for children of key workers. I hope that you are finding new ways to help at home. We all have our part to play. Remember your friends and support one another. This Holy Week, we remember the trials that Jesus had to endure, the betrayal of his friends in his hour of need. Walk alongside Jesus this week, reach out your hand to him, and together we will reach the joy of Easter Day and his glorious resurrection to new life. Today, the choristers would have been resident in school and singing Bach's great St John Passion. It tells of the events of Holy Week. Here is a short section recorded especially for us. Ich folge dir gleichfalls. I follow thee gladly. Oh, 
Let us pray. At this time of great anxiety in our world, we pray for all who are suffering as a result of the coronavirus, for those who are ill and for those who sadly have died. We pray for all those doctors, nurses and other workers and volunteers within our National Health Service as they care for those who are ill. We pray too for our scientists, politicians and leaders as they look for ways to support us all during this time of great need. We thank you for those who are looking for a vaccine and for other medicines to help fight the disease. Finally, we pray for ourselves and our school. We thank you for our families and friends, whether they be near or far away. We ask you to especially bless those families whose loved ones are separated at this time. May they be comforted and be reunited soon. We pray for our Chorister School community, for children, staff, governors and parents as we work together to learn a new way of being a school. Give us imagination and ingenuity as we use technology and the resources around us to learn and grow together. In your name we pray. Amen. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let's all sing our last hymn together, I Danced in the Morning.
Let us end our service today by saying the words of the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. I'm sure that your parents will have told you that we're changing the start date of the summer term to the 1st of June. This is to try to give us the very best chance to all be together at school as normal and enjoy all that school means to us in the summer term. Before that time, Mr Chandler, Mrs FW, Dr Wilson and I will be keeping in touch with you and giving you some ideas of things you could be doing at home. Later in the holiday, I will be making more of these virtual assemblies. But in the meantime, do look at the Cathedral's website and tune into their live stream services every day. I will particularly commend the Palm Sunday service and those that are going to be broadcast during Holy Week leading up to Easter Day. Together, we will move forwards towards that tremendous day when we can all be together again. Until then, keep safe, be kind to one another and be helpful at home.